Hey guys, hey, how are you guys are doing? Is you guys are doing? Cause we're doing, we're doing enough. We're quasi doing. Uh, today is Friday. I want to say Friday. Um, the wife is at a meeting, so she doesn't actually go back to work until Monday, which I'm going to dread beyond all compare. But, um, I have downloaded four books from, um, Laurel K. Hamilton, which is the Anita Blake series, so I have four of her books, and I'm going to start reading those, so hopefully that will give me something to do, um, kind of just to keep my mind off of things and, like, you know... The only, the only thing that's an issue is that I go through books so fast. Um, I read at a ridiculous level. But um, I figured that'll take me about a week. <laughs> and then I wish Amazon, because I buy them on Amazon um, for the Kindle, so, you know, you always have it. I wish that, you know, they give you what's called Prime Reading or Prime Library or whatever. But it doesn't let you choose what books you want. Like, it's not like you can go grab a book of any kind you want and borrow it um, or just read it. No, it has to be weird shit, and it's just nothing I'm interested in. So, um, like the Twilight books, I used to have those in the book form, uh, the Fifty Shades of Grade books, I used to have that in book form, and it just sucks that I don't have, um, once you've bought a book, you know, now that, it's the information age and everybody's got a smartphone and everybody does everything electronically. It just sucks that like all that stuff I have to buy over again. Um, I even called my local library to see if they had any of them and they don't carry them so I'm sad face. They carry like um, the Fifty Shades of Grey and they carry the, the Twilight but I don't, I don't want to go down those. I don't want to have to go all the way down the, there for that. Um, so, but yeah, I've got the first four of uh, the Anita Blake series, and then we'll go from there. So, um, like, she has deals where she, like, she'll let you buy five books at a time. So, I may end up just doing that, like, every once in a while, just buying five more books and then going down the line, because I don't mind reading something more than once. So, um, God knows I've read these first four books, like, 10 times already because I love the story so much. Um, I'd like to read all of them. And like I said, she's got 25 of them. Um, I just woke up. I just took all my medicine. I'm laying here in bed, letting the heating pad and the mattress, uh, the heat heating mattress pad thingy that I have work because for some reason last night it was hot before I went to bed and I was like, oh, I don't need these. So I unplugged the heating pad and tossed it over the side of the bed. And I un, um, I turned off the heating mattress because I was like, it's too hot. And then had the worst night of sleep ever. So I don't know about you guys. I don't know how many of you deal with, like, actual chronic pain. But I live on heating pads. Like, to the point to where my wife had to get me a, like, it's a heated mattress pad. So... It's like an electric blanket, but up underneath you. So that's what I have. I have one that like goes all the way underneath me, so it keeps my my um, my pillows warm. It keeps my you know lower body warm. It keeps the back of my arms warm. Anything up underneath the cover stays nice and warm. That's the only thing is like unless you keep a cover on top of it. It doesn't seem like it's warm enough. So you have to keep your cover on top of it. So if anybody buys one and then you're expecting it to be like super hot um, just by sitting on it, it doesn't work that way. You have to actually put a cover on top of that. So I have a sheet on top of it and then I have a cover up on top of it. Um, and that's how I warm up my bed. So um, when I come home from the gym or, you know, I'm downstairs and doing stuff like I turn it on and then make my bed. And then by the time I come upstairs, when I crawl into it, it's all nice and toasty and hot. And I'm like, ah. but yeah, my back is screaming this morning. So, um, 
I have been doing um, running slash jogging the last two times I've gone to the gym because Evelyn has a PT test coming up and it makes her feel better to have somebody to do something with. So as long as I'm just walking the track or, you know, and I'm like, I could walk the track or I could try to jog the track or I could try to run the track. You know, I could push myself and see what I'm capable of. You know, I've lost a lot of weight. Um, as long as I wear tighter clothing, it doesn't jumble around as much. Um, my extra skin, so it doesn't hurt nearly as bad if I wear really tight leggings. Um, then it doesn't pull on my hip and my back near as much. But I can't do a lot. So um, yesterday I ran two laps, like full out ran two laps. And then I jogged a lap. But in between those, I walked. So I would run the lap and then walk a lap and then I'd run the lap and then I'd walk a lap and then I would jog the lap and then walk a lap. So... It felt good seeing that I was capable of these things. I appreciated that I was capable of it. Um, I don't know. My water. Mouth is hella dry. Where's y'all's water at? Hear that? It's almost empty. That means I have to go downstairs and get some more. That means I gotta get my ass out of bed. I love me some water. People ask me what I put in my water. <clears throat> so I have true lime, which is, uh, not lime, true lemon, which is like crystallized lemon. It comes in like a little, a little shaker, or you can buy the ones that come in a package. They also have orange and lime and maybe some other stuff. Um, I know that they make water enhancers that have stevia in it, which are the lemonades. I don't like stevia. I've never liked stevia. I don't like monk fruit. Um, I like aspartame, which I know people are like, it's terrible for you. I'm like, if I was going to die by aspartame, I would have died a long time ago. So just leave me alone. Um, and I like Splenda, but they don't make my water enhancers with Splenda. So, um, what was I going to tell you? So I take true lime. Damn it, I keep saying lime. True lemon. And I pour about a half a teaspoon in in my bottle. So that's a 64-ounce bottle. I put a half a teaspoon in there, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes usually a little bit more. And then I add three of my flavor packets, which are the lemon berry from Hawaiian Punch. I don't like to change up my drinks. If I like something, I like it. I don't fuck with it. Like, I'm just, I am like that. Like, because when I start trying all these other fandangled things and then I get turned off and won't drink anything so I kind of just stick to what I know I like and I like this every day I drink it every day I've drank it every day for probably the last two years excuse me two and a half years almost three and before that I was drinking a um nose is itchy because my meds um I was drinking Arizona um, half and half sweet tea, but it was the uh, squirt bottle, so it was sugar free, but it was dying my teeth, like it was staining my teeth. I don't, I can't stand. The one thing about my pain meds is that it makes my nose itchy, just randomly makes my nose itchy, and it only does it for the first like hour after I've taken it so like I said I just woke up Evelyn is at a thing so I thought I could get on here and pop on Yammer um, just, just barely itches just just enough to drive me crazy so I've been doing that something I thought I would talk about is that um, somebody made mention and then a couple people on Facebook made mention that they would they wish that they were my size. I have terrible body dysmorphia. I mean, I have the worst body dysmorphia. Hearing that, 
a lot of people would be like, oh my god, that's so sweet, you know, thank you so much. I'm completely like, no you don't. Like, why would you want to be this big? Like, you obviously are not seeing, like, what I'm seeing. And that's kind of the point. Like, the point is, is that I'm not seeing what other people are seeing because I have really terrible body dysmorphia. And it makes me feel bad because I want to accept those kinds of compliments and feel good about them and have that kind of confidence of like, oh my God, you know, I've worked so hard. This is, this is great. But instead I feel terrible. And I'm like, I don't know why you'd want to look like me. I'm super fat. It, it's just my brain switches in between that constantly. It makes me crazy. So the 30th, I go for my, um, my blood test and for my vitamin K. Let us pray that me taking the vitamin K2 has done something or the fact that I'm taking quadruple the normal dose is doing something. Um, I don't know. I don't, I really don't know. I can't tell you. I don't know if it's doing anything or making any kind of difference whatsoever. Um, and then I see my endocrinologist on the 6th. So we will see how my blood is and um, she's doing um, my vitamin D levels too. So there is no vitamin K1 and vitamin K2 like tests. So you can only just, there's, there's no like difference in between them. You can only just do vitamin K and it just comes out as vitamin K. So I don't know. I'm just hoping that it ups it enough. If not, I'm going to start taking two of the vitamin K2s. Um, and then the problem is, is that they have, they have injectables. They have injectable vitamin K. It's supposed to not work as much as well as oral. Okay. Well, that's great for somebody who the oral can work for. But for somebody like me, I'm not digesting it, obviously. So that's where we're having a problem. So TRICARE will not pay for the injectable vitamin K for any reason. I don't know why. I have no, no clue what the hell their problem is. Like what kind of like horse shit I'm going to have to go through to try to get it. Um, what is on my eyelash? What is something on my eyelash? Or that's on my, it's on my glasses. I've got to wash my glasses. Clean your window panes, girlfriend. Um... So that's something I'll be talking to her about again, because if this is not working, you know, we're wasting our time trying to put a Band-Aid on, you know, a, a, a gushing wound and something needs to be done. So anyhow, anywho, anyway, I hope everyone's having a wonderful day, no matter where the hell you happen to be in the world. And if nobody has told you today that you are loved and that you are beautiful and that you are amazing. Please let me be the first person to tell you who means it. You are loved, you are beautiful, and you are absolutely amazing. If nobody's told you today that you are just perfect, just the way you are, I would love to tell you that myself. I believe that just the way you are, you are perfect. You are amazing, you are a spectacular person. You are meant to be here you would be missed you would be missed you are a kind and compassionate individual you are needed and you are wanted here I'm thankful that you're here with me on my journey so I love you guys more than I could tell you I hope everyone is actually having a wonderful day and if no matter what you're going through right now as long as you are choosing to breathe and doing the very best you can, I am proud of you. And I'll talk to you guys very, very, very soon. Mwah. Bye.